All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with a video, and as you can see, my Instagram is above the video. So if you want to follow me over there, you can. Now, let me show you something, point you something out. So we do realize that fiat currency, right, is a scam. It's controlled by central banks. It's printed at the demise of someone saying print more money. And, you know, print more money means we have raising inflation. Inflation means that we pay higher prices for everything. Everything doesn't go up in value. The money is devaluing. So our money is devaluing, and this is why, you know, Nixon had the gold standard in America, which took them off the gold standard. Nixon took them off gold standard. Now, obviously, the inflate the money is backed by nothing. So as you can see, Bitcoin right now is having a bit of a breakout on the GBP market. Now, against the pound, so Bitcoin against the pound is up 1%, right? So... The reason why I wanted to show you this is because the dollar, right, which is USDC, right, is actually kind of down right now. You see, you see how the US dollar has got a red, a red declining market, right? And then the USD, so your GBP, right, your GBP, so the Great British Pound, we'll put this on like a six hour band, right, and then we'll zoom out, right, so technically look. Right, we're zooming out right now. So, you know, this show, I got it right. This show, I'm trying to make sure that this shows you on the video. So, essentially, we have a green candle that's coming into effect on the UK market. So, that means that Bitcoin is actually getting more valuable again in England because England's inflation is kind of out of control. Like, if, you, if you've seen it, you will see that when you go into a shop and you want to buy like, you know, tomato ketchup, yeah, it's like four pounds fifteen. Like four pounds for tomato ketchup, like that's crazy. That's such a crazy price, yeah. Right? And the thing is, we we see that we have like a complete troll government, yeah. Our government is complete trolls, right? You know, this Tory government is a complete troll government, right? They they literally, you can tell that the puppet is on the string. Yeah, Sunak has got no power. He's being controlled from the central bank, the governor. Andrew Bailey, the governor of the bank, runs the government, yeah? Because he's the one that allocates the printing of the money, right? So, you know, when he decides he wants to print more money, yeah, they print more money. So, when you, this is the best saving opportunity of your life, right? Because when Bitcoin becomes the money, people are going to realise that, you know, this paper money is a load of shit. It's a load of nonsense. That's what it is. It's a load of nonsense. Promise to pay the bearer of some on demand, but it's backed by nothing. So it's backed by nothing, so now we're getting a green candle, right? So let's just have a quick look. About, right? This is why I made a video a few months ago explaining you should sell everything that you don't require because, you know, if you don't need things you don't need and you don't essentially use, you sell them and put all your money into Bitcoin. That So every week, if you work a standard nine to five job, every week, take some of your money, right? Take some of your money and basically turn it in to Bitcoin each week right so if you can afford 20 pounds and you can only afford 20 pounds then put that 20 pounds into bitcoin right and then the next time the next week you get 20 pounds put 20 pounds into bitcoin again and stick with the same strategy because when you essentially spend this money they're getting deductions off this money every time you spend this money so if you spend 20 pounds yeah, they get 20%. So they get another two pounds. And if you're not spending this, they ain't receiving that. Yeah? So they ain't receiving the money off your money. And it's caught and it's gonna be causing a squeeze on the central bank. Because they essentially need money in that bank to be able to print more money. To print you know, they need a pile of shit in the middle of the bank and they can print money. 
right? So if they have nothing and not even a shit in there, yeah, they can't print anything. You see, this is why this is Bitcoin is showing you right now completely against the inflation rate in these countries, in these countries, right? Because in the US, the GBP market, we are technically, we are still, we are still up. You see, we're showing a green candle. You see how we're, we've got two different, this is Coinbase, right? If anyone don't know what this is, I know there's a big C at the top of the video. This is the Coinbase logs, right? Because this is what I like to look at, right? And you can see a green candle, right? So, you know, this is, where are we going from here? I reckon, you know, I was buying, I bought it 13k and I've been literally sitting waiting for this to move because you know this is, was the best time this was legit the best time to buy this to buy Bitcoin right because the price tanked and everyone was like you know wasting their money on stuff going out drinking going out partying smoking their money every week you know getting high and you know just doing random stuff and enjoying their life right and they didn't take the best opportunity of their life. I mean, I mean, I told my friend to buy Bitcoin at thirteen thousand. Instead, he spent twenty five k cash on a car that he no longer has. And it's like, man, I tried to help these people, but you know, they didn't listen. So it's just one of these things that people don't see. You know, the opportunity they're missing out on. So, you know, like I said a few months ago, sell all your stuff you don't need. And put all that money into Bitcoin because you know this is the greatest opportunity of your life to keep buying this. Now I don't know if there's any so uh in the euro what are we in the euro? Is the euro doing the same thing? Uh no. The euro is actually uh doing a little candle. Right? So then Is that your year? Quite tired man, really, to be fair, it is like one AM. It's only the GBP and then USDC. I am going to be buying more Bitcoin today. Um, I buy Bitcoin regardless of the price. I buy more because, you know, you can never have enough. Now, the dollar, we're going down right now. So, in the dollar, we're going down. Right? And in the pound, we are still on the up. Right? So, you know, this thing's getting more valuable because, you know, we know they can't keep printing money forever. They can't keep printing, printing money forever. You know, they can't just keep ruining ruining the, the lives of the individuals who live in this country or, you know, because we have a bad, a bad economic government. Right? That's what we that's what we've got. Right. So like I say, don't sell your Bitcoin. Right? Whatever you do, don't sell your Bitcoin. Right. Don't sell it. Just live like you don't have it. Right, because when it becomes the money, yeah, it actually becomes the money. This thing's gonna touch a million. This thing is gonna touch a million. I don't know when, but it's gonna touch a million, right? Because inflation is gonna get even worse because you can't just keep raising the pay, raising the prices, raising the pay, raising the prices, because it's just gonna keep going up. Everything's just gonna keep trajectorying up, and it's it's not it can't continue. It's a big bubble. It's gonna pop. It's gonna be a big bubble. And it's gonna pop, right? This thing's probably going to go to, say, after the halvening, this thing's going to fly. This is going to fly after the halvening. I'm going to say, we're, we're at $70,000 already, and we're not even at the halvening yet. So, like, we're probably going to see, like, £20,000, probably by April time, maybe even eighty k And then it's just going to, when it goes from there, it's just going to keep going. I just believe it's going to keep going. Because even... Even anyone would be a fool to be selling this right now. That's why the guy who sold the other day, right, who made this big drop to like 44,000 and everyone thought the market was going to go down after this, right? But it didn't. It just completely corrected and bounced back up. So, thanks for watching this video. If you're new here, subscribe, right? Crypto videos, we'll do Amazon, you know, analysis or whatever, right? Boom, but... That's that's what take on it, right? Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.